Good afternoon. Welcome to the Loveless Cafe Biscuit Contest. This is our second annual contest, and we really thank Loveless Cafe for sponsoring it and all the participants. I would like to introduce the three members of the Loveless Cafe team. All the way on the left, we have Ms. Wendy Feltz. She's a longtime member of the Loveless team. Wendy is a staff culinarian who oversees the test kitchen. She creates and prepares amazing recipes using Loveless's line of food products, like Wendy's Bacon Bliss, which blends Loveless bacon with apple preserves and Loveless spiked pecans. Ooh, sounds good. In the middle, we have Cora Bennett. As a human resource specialist, Cora mentors staff to ensure everyone receives the Loveless experience. Biscuits are, of course, the best benefit of all. And all the way on the right, we have Rebecca Hodges. As general manager of Loveless Retail, Rebecca oversees the design and creation of all Loveless product from the t-shirts to housewares to food products, such as the new popular blackberry barbecue sauce. She says tasting all that amazing food is a tough job, but someone has to do it. So without further delay, we are going to, the, the judges have already read the recipes and looked at the, the uh, entries. Now we're going to bring up a tasting for them, in, and, I, and then they will judge them here. The first that they will be tasting, our recipe is called Barbie Baskets. And these are members from the culinary, these are my two culinary arts chair uh, ladies. I am, I didn't introduce myself, but I'm Beth DiMaggio, and I am the creative and culinary arts chairperson for the Williamson County Fair. While they're tasting, I would like to, I have a daily schedule to remind you of all the fun events that are going on that after you're done observing, you can go and take part in. Here on the arena floor is Balloon Magic by Robert, by Roger, presented by the Pinnacle Financial Partners. And you can find the balloon maker, Roger, throughout the floor from 10.30 in the morning till 2.30 in the afternoon. Also on the arena floor at various times throughout the day at 10.30 a.m., which is past, but 1.30 p.m., 4 p.m., and 6.30 are the Zuzu Acrobats, and they are presented by Williamson Medical Center.
The next thing the judges will be tasting is bread pudding made from biscuits. Everything in this contest has to be made by a homemade biscuit and has to be you have to incorporate it into an entree or a dessert. That's the criteria for the contest. Today, there's a limited show or presentation today uh, at 2 o'clock. The Lyman, it's the Lyman Rodeo Exhibition presented by Middle Tennessee Electric. It's only going to be today at 2 and 5.30 and then once more on Tuesday after 5.30. It should be very, very interesting. And that's out in the Fair Village which is by uh, the midway where a lot of the vendors are. Another very tasty, sweet, lovely dessert here, a red pudding. Um, it's got Hawaiian red in it. Everyone loves Hawaiian red. Any, any thoughts on this? Miss Cora? Cora loves the texture. It's good to Miss Rebecca. It's very good. The next thing that Wendy, Cora, and Rebecca will be tasting is a peach cobbler made from biscuits. Rebecca likes it. <laughs> okay. And we're 
we're going to cleanse our palettes in between so we get a fresh taste of everything. Very moist. present to the judges chocolate chip biscuit pinwheels. Well, y'all, just so you know, I do some really good chocolate chip biscuits, so this is a test. Today out in the Fair Village, something you shouldn't miss is at 3 o'clock is a chainsaw artist, Rourke Phillips, and is presented by Tractor Supply Company. Another really great thing to see is horses, horses, horses. And that's presented by Drew Expositions. And um, it's out behind us in the arena, in the covered arena. And that's presented at 3 o'clock and 7 p.m. tonight. Well, I really don't like to admit this. Um, but I do think I have a little competition here with my chocolate chip biscuits. <laughs> These are really good. Well, 
flavor's good, texture's good. Caramel, yeah, and that extra flavor is fabulous. And the chewiness, mm-mm-mm. The next entry are biscuit corn cakes with goat cheese, blackberry thyme sauce. This looks very, very pretty. Um, also kind of reminds me of maybe some, a pancake. Kind of, sort of. They're so pretty. Mm-mm. Excuse me for a second. If anybody's wondering and noticed there's a few cakes stacked around the border, those are the cakes that came in this morning for the 4-H cake. They've been judged, and they will be auctioned at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and the money, all the money raised will go to support 4-H. I hope you participate and bid very high, because 4-H is, uh, is great for the area, and it's wonderful for all the children. Lots of different textures, which is really nice. I love the thyme and the sauce. And of course, the beautiful fresh blackberries and goat cheese. I'm getting a little beach in my back. Mm-mm-mm. Beautiful, and we envision either a dessert or an appetizer. Maybe make them a little smaller for an appetizer. Mm -hmm. This is the last entry coming up, and we're going to tantalize the judges with banana split biscuits. Are we not spoiled, y'all? Mm-mm. must stay here and ride the rides and enjoy all the food and everything because tonight at 8 p.m., Sean Plush, the ultimate Elvis tribute artist with Cody Ray Slaughter, will be on this main stage presented with, from, by Atmos Energy. banana split biscuit. biscuit. It's, it's really, it was, y'all, I don't know if y'all saw, saw it very well, but it had kind of 
pineapple and on top, very attractive for cherries, and then also a strawberry banana puree on top of that. Ladies, what do you think? Everything was really good. Thank you all for participating and being part of this. It makes it, it's an honor for us to be here, and we're thankful that we've been invited, and, and the three of us had the best job. Like I said, we got to taste it all. So thank you. the judging sheets and my staff will do the tabulations. In the meantime, uh, there's been a couple of questions that people have asked me to ask our fine judges. So we'll give them a chance to answer those questions. we have is, and this is directed, uh, Wendy, how long has Excuse the Loveless me. been around? Well, the Loveless Cafe has been around since 1951. Um, it was, it's located on Highway 100 in Bellevue, Tennessee, um, and it used to be some, uh, the home of Annie and Lonnie Loveless. And they saw an opportunity, guess what, uh, driving by on their horses, kabokis and such. It's really hard. Anyway, um, and they saw an opportunity to, to make some chicken and biscuits, and it started that way. 1951. Another question there is, is, what is your favorite twist on a biscuit? Well, mine, I kind of gave it away. And I say that's some competition. I always buy some chocolate chip biscuits with some ganache. I make ganache, put ganache on mine. I've not done the caramel, so the caramel was really, really a good twist also. And ladies? I'm kind of traditional with my biscuits. I actually have only been working with the Loveless uh, for about seven months now. So this is the first time I've gone outside the box with the biscuits. I'm usually a butter jam person, so, uh, but I, I do like a good breakfast biscuit, some bacon, loveless bacon specifically. Uh, my favorite biscuit is pimento cheese. Anything with cheese is better. If you put bacon and pimento cheese on a biscuit, your day will be better. besides the lovely restaurant and stuff, you also have a store? We do. We have more than one store. We have Hams and Jams. Uh, we have Outfitters. We have the shipping shop. And Miss Rebecca is the general manager of those three, so I'm going to 
pass this over to her, her and let her speak about our wonderful retail. So yes, we do have three stores on property as well as our online shop. So when you get home and you decide that you need to buy some biscuit mix and one of each of the preserves, you just visit lovelesscafe.com and you can buy it all there. Um, but if you do come out to property, we have three shops, hams and jams. It's just what it sounds like. We sell ham and jam. Um, Outfitters is all of our t-shirts and apparel and hats. And then the shipping shop actually opened May 1st. And if you are stumped on what to get your family for the holidays, it's a great option to come out and pick from one of our mini gift sets. And you can ship it home anywhere in the contiguous U.S. for $12. I see that you sometimes have music. Yes, we have. We have had music in the past um, on Wednesday nights in the barn. Um, we don't do that any longer unless there's a specific special event that they will be having. Um, but that's something that you know we're looking into, and we may do that in the near future again. And there might be some people that are unfamiliar with your location. Where is the Loveless Cafe? The Loveless Cafe is in Bellevue, Tennessee, which y'all, it's not very far from here. It's on Highway 100, so it's sort of this end of town on the other corner, um, but it's 8400 Highway 100, and um, a, a landmark, another landmark that's well known is we're right at the end or the beginning of the Natchez Trace. So if you haven't been, I'm going to say shame on you. We would love to have you come visit us because um, we do have the best biscuits in town. I think we're tabulating now, so we will see. I know I said thank you for being here, but this is kind of fun. I've enjoyed myself, and I know we have Rebecca and Cora and I, so we hope you're having a great time today. So we have a tie. So you'll have to give us a moment so we can contemplate and we'll be right back with you. Is Roger Sanderson in the building? We can use you on the main stage if you're in the building and you can hear me. Miss Beth, we are ready. Okay, since it's blind judging, I have to associate the name with the judging sheets. So do we have 
have locals here, or do we have folks from out of town? Brentwood? Franklin, excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm from East Nashville. It's not really local, but anybody from Fairview? Miss Cora's from Fairview. That young man? <laughs> So who's seen the animals in the, so far? I hear that they had baby pigs born like three days ago. So I hear that they're really adorable. So if you haven't seen those, you need to go see the, the pigs. Somebody's having fun somewhere, I hear it. Who's going to the Midway? That's what I want to know. Anybody? Have you gone? Yeah? Mm-hmm. Ridden some rides and having some good times. This is a question. How many of y'all have been to Loveless? Yay! One? Two? Haven't? Have you been? Well, y'all are missing out. We are sorry that you haven't been to visit us yet, but we please, we invite you. We have open doors for everyone that has never been to come see us. And y'all that have been there, what you think? Yay, yay, loveless. Mm -hmm. Okay. In second place was David Backrack with the Tennessee Cinco Leches Biscuits. Congratulations, and he receives a $100 check from Loveless Cafe for his efforts. And the winner, receiving a check for $150 for his fabulous recipe, is Matt Doverful for the Banana Split Biscuit.
Matt placed in third place last year. I don't know where he's going to go next year. Thank you all for attending. Thanks for your participation. We look forward to more next year. Um, and so thanks again. It may come as no surprise that when the economy is in decline, fraud is on the rise. You have people who have been successful for the last 10 years, so they got a little something put away. Now, you know, they, they took their expense account, they cut their overtime, so now they're looking to increase their earning potential. Business opportunities can boom in a recession and in a, a downturn of the economy. Nobody in business is going to give you your money back if your business fails. You never saw me in your life. You saw a commercial on TV, you got on the phone with me, you spoke to me for 10 seconds, I gave you some names to call, and I gave you some things to look up, and you called me back three days later, and I, you wrote me a check for $50,000. Does that, does that sound a little screwed up? People want to believe that there is some opportunity that they can invest in that will guarantee that they will have financial success. There is no such thing. There just is no sure deal, none. The best advice I could give to anybody who's looking to purchase a business opportunity or purchase any investment over the phone is fast no's and slow yeses. Period, the end. Fast no's and slow yeses. Too many of Tennessee's students drop out of high school. If you ask them why, you'll probably hear they just can't keep up because they don't have the reading skills. Success in school is based on success in reading, and learning to read starts with hearing words. With young children, storybook reading, particularly family storybook reading, plays a special and important role. Had a great, what's the last word? Small. Good. Have fun with reading. Read the directions on the box and bake a cake together. Create a scrapbook, write a family cookbook, or a newsletter. <laughs> that looks like you. Um, what about the triangle? A triangle face. Work with your child to cut coupons and make a grocery list. Write thank you notes to grandparents. Read a book about different Brain. occupations. Then ask your child what they would like to be when they grow up. Ah, you could be, maybe. What about an eye doctor, just like your granddaddy? My eye doctor is much more. Um, he works with some glasses. He does work with some glasses. Don't underestimate the impact that reading can have on your child's future. Choose success. Choose reading. This Choose Success moment has been brought to you by the Middle Tennessee P16 Council. For more information about children and reading, contact your local school system.